Hey guys, it's Deborah with Timeless Jewel by Deborah. I found a stray Goodwill blue box. This one is from South Hackensack. Looked like it shipped to me January 17. So I'm going to open it and we will dump it and hope for some goodies. Oh, they did it in two bags. So, let's just hold the first one out. I'm going to move this part over. Alright, here is first look. See some stone. Oh, there's some pretties in there. I like that. It is looking really nice so far. Let's dump her out. Hopefully there's some earring pairs, some brooches, some bracelets, a little fashion ring. Oh, look at him with the googly eyes. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> All right, I'm going to sort this and get it unknotted, and then we are going to go on from there. See you in a second. All right, so I got everything laid out. It looks like these are the only straight earrings but there are two bags so we are on box one so let me put those away we got some really great pieces i'll show them to you real quick i'm going to pull these though because i am getting ready to do my first live sale so these i will be pulling look at this oh my gosh that is just fantastic and then this brace or necklace another stone it's just fantastic and then look at this cool tree of life and i haven't tested these yet pretty and then we've got a liquid silver necklace with dyed stones so that was i still need to test i think that was it this is dyed hololite i know that for sure so, oh, and this one, turquoise and garnet. So I'm going to pull that. And either I'm going to put these in that sale or what I'm going to do is we're going to do a testing uh, video. So, all right, let's get started with what's on the table. All right. Oh, this is really pretty. This is heavy. Oh, let me see. What does it say inside? It says May, M-A-Y. Salisbury pewter. There we go. It's just really pretty. Look at that design. Oh my goodness. So the comps on this are all over the place. This is for the month of May. So for this one, it is so lovely. Let me, you, there, it's pewter. So there is no give to it for sure. The opening is a one inch. And get that measurement it's about two and a quarter inches but isn't she lovely this is really pretty i'll do that for five. Oh my gosh you guys look at this isn't this adorable butterfly cuff looks like all the stones are there this is fun i don't see any maker's mark there is a wear as you can see here on the inside isn't that lovely? Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Let's see if it fits me. It does. Hmm. <laughs> I really love this piece. Even with the condition, it's great because it's like an antique brass tone. Let's do that one for eight. That is just gorgeous. Here's a fun ring. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is huge. I have big hands. This is a base metal with a plastic cameo, and it opens, and look, you have an instant daughter. <laughs> that is just a beautiful picture. I don't know if someone put that in there or if that was the picture that came with it, but it is absolutely, she is absolutely beautiful. Look at her. Hauntingly beautiful. So it is a stretch brace, or a stretch ring. Really interesting. I don't see any maker's mark. 
I'm not sure of the date on this. If I had to guess, I would say 70s. It is really interesting. So for this one, let's do five. Let's stick with the rings. This is fun. This is a US 8, and it's plastic with butterflies on this as well. And they're inside of the Lucite. Isn't that lovely? Look at her. Oh my gosh. And there is no maker's mark. It is fun. I love her. Look at the butterflies. Oh, let's do her for five. I think we had one more ring. Yes, this is adjustable. It is fashion. Purple with a deeper purple inside. As it sits right now, it's a seven. Look at the color. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Fashion ring. Let's do her for three. Okay, let's see. I think that was it for rings. All right, then we have a fun stretchy bracelet with different color beads in yellow. Let's do that for a dollar. This is nice. This is copper. Oh, it is marked. Let's see what that says. It says solid copper. Okay, well, we knew that. <laughs> and it has uh, like a brass here with indented hearts. It can bend, so that's great. It can fit any size wrist. That's really pretty. I like that. I like mixed metals. I think they're interesting. But no other maker's mark on that. It's really a nice piece. Let's do that for five. And we have a beautiful bangle gold tone with clear rhinestones. It's pretty large. Oh, nope, I can't get it on my hand. But it is beautiful. No missing stones. It would fit about an eight and three quarters inch. That is gorgeous. No maker's mark. Tiny bit of wear on the inside. Let's do that one for five. Gold tone or silver tone. Uh, quick as a wink. Kate Spade, New York. Oh, it's in horrible condition. What does it say? It says, get set, go on your, oh, on your mark, get jet set, <laughs> go but it is in very bad condition. So we're going to put this in craft. It's seven and three quarter inch, but that's going in craft for a dollar. This is a kid's plastic beaded. Uh, yeah, that's just going into craft. Then we have a gold tone bangle. Oh, wait, there's two. Yes, two gold tone bangles textured. They're pretty. They look in good condition. About eight and a quarter inches. No maker's mark on these. So I'll do the two of those for $3. Oh, this is pretty. Gold tone with a raised circle. Half circle. Can you see that right there? It's raised. I don't see any maker's mark. It looks like there was something there. There is some wear to the inside. It is nice. This would fit about an eight and a half. Nope, can't get it over my hand. That's nice. Let's do that for three. Oh, you guys, look at this. This is gorgeous. So gold tone with rhinestones. Looks like all of them are here. This is how you open it. It opens up. I wear a seven. It fits me. No maker's mark. There's a lot of wear on the inside. It definitely needs to be cleaned, but it is a really pretty piece. Oh, there's some loss right there. Well, for that reason, due to the gold loss, let's do three on that. Okay, any more bracelets? Yes. Stretchy with faux rhinestones. Oh, I think these are plastic. Uh, yes, they are an acrylic faceted in brown. That's pretty. Let's do that for a dollar. All right. Any more bracelets? All right, yes. Here we go. This is a stretchy gold tone with rhinestones on there. Oh, it's marked J. Crew. Okay. That's pretty with the tassel. I don't think I've seen one like this before. I would say that the maximum I would go on this would be a seven. Otherwise, it starts, you know, it could get and start pulling skin. J. Crew. That's nice. It looks like all the rhinestones are there. 
There's the J. Crew mark. Let's do that one for five. You guys, look at this fish. Two tone, gold tone, silver tone, angelfish, I believe. There's a little bit of wear here. This is what the back looks like. I don't see a maker's mark. That is lovely. He is big. He measures in at two and three quarters by just under two inches. Oh, he's lovely. Let's do that for five. Ha! Huh. A D pin. This is textured with a faux pearl. That is what the back looks like. No maker's mark, I don't think. Nope. That's just where the metal meets it. This is definitely vintage. The D measures in at one and an eighth by just over three quarters. Let's do that one for five. All right, let's go with a pretty necklace. I love this. Look at this. Spring is ready, girls. Flowers, and look at the bee. And the enameling is in great condition. The chain looks great as well. Show you that. It is marked LC. This is a Liz Claiborne piece. And the only issue on this is that the Liz Claiborne tag has some wear on it. But otherwise, it's fantastic. Let me get you a measurement on this. That is just adorable. I can't get over that bee. I'm ready for spring. We are like snowed in right now. So <laughs> this is a 32-inch total length. Look at that. Lovely. Let's do her for eight. Okay, then we have a strand of knotted in between faux pearls with a lobster claw clasp. Nice consistent color. It looks in very good condition. This measures in at 46 inches total length. That's lovely. Let's do that for five. Okay, then we have a dyed Howlite stretch chip bracelet. It's cute. Let's do that for three. Oh, look at this pin, you guys. That is vintage. I love it. Look at the flower. This is the back. It does not look like it's signed. It is lovely. She measures in at about one and three quarters inch by about one and an eighth inches. Isn't that lovely? See, this is like saying you need spring. <laughs> Let's do five on that. Oh, we do have another ring. We've got a shell little ring. Oh my goodness. Look at that with the shell on the abalone shell. This measures in at a five and a half. I'm going to turn it here. You can see the shell and you can see the abalone. Isn't that lovely? Let's do that one for five. Then we have a fashion bracelet with, <clears throat> excuse me, different colors, greens and blues. It's got a fold over clasp. Let me get this open. That's what the back looks like. It is marked LC. This is Liz Claiborne as well. This measures in at just seven inches. Isn't that lovely? Let's do her for five. All right. Oh, this is broken. Going into a craft lot. And I think, let's see. Oh, yep. This one is broken as well, but then it's plastic. So I'll put that in a craft lot. Look at this. I love this collar. I think it's fantastic. Cream colored with pinks, bronzish gold, with orange. There is wear on the clasp as to be expected. The wearable length on this would be an eight and maybe an eight and a half with the extender fully done. Isn't that beautiful? I love this with the bars. I believe this is 1970s. Gorgeous. Let's do eight on that one. Oh, I'm not even sure what that is. Maybe a baby barrette. Okay that in craft. Uh, let's see. Oh, is this broken? No, it's not broken. Okay, we've got a fashion faceted plastic necklace. 
there is a ton of wear on this clasp. So what I'm going to do is put this in craft for a dollar. If anyone would like it for crafting. All right. And we've got green. These feel like a heavy plastic. It's a pretty mod color. Green with beads. They're all there. Gold tone. There is a lot of wear here as well on this. Can you see that? On the links. Let me get your measurement. This will also go into crafting for a dollar if someone would like it. Otherwise, I will be putting together some more craft lots, rhinestone lots, um, in the upcoming week or two. And that's where I sell them in the bags. Okay. So if anyone wants that, we'll do that for a dollar in craft. Oh, this is pretty. I love hematite. Look at that design. Isn't that lovely? This measures in at an 8-inch wearable. That is what the back looks like. It has a barrel clasp. It looks like it's in good condition. That is, oops, I'm knocking you girls all over. <laughs> Beautiful piece. Let's do that one for five. We've got a stretch bracelet. Silver tone. Let's do that for a dollar. Lots of statement and peachy pinks. This is really pretty. Let's see. It looks like all the stones are, yes, all the stones are there, which is fantastic. There's a little wear on the stone. This is what the back looks like. The chain is not in great condition either. So I will put that into craft for a dollar if anyone's interested. All right. Let's see if we can get this one laid out. This one looks like it, yep. This looks like it's missing some pieces for sure. So I'll put that in craft for a dollar. All right. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this is really pretty. I like this. These are a heavy plastic. I keep turning you guys. I'm so sorry. Heavy plastic and like a smoky quartz. Really nice necklace. There is always wear on the extenders on these older pieces you can see right here there we go <clears throat> let me get your measurement that's going into craft as well it's just got so much wear on it but it is a 20 inch wearable so 40 inches total i'll put that in craft for a dollar oh this is gorgeous oh it's marked this is i think a monet so i think what i'm going to do yes it's a monet is I'm going to pull this for my first online live sale. Okay. And then we've got yellows and like a pale green stone. There's not as much wear on here. Let me flip it over, see if there's any maker's mark. There is not. These feel like a heavy plastic. It's very pretty. I love that spring color. This measures in at, as it sits, an 8-inch wearable, and it has another 2-inch extender. So that's nice. Let's do that one for three. Oh my gosh, I love this color. This reminds me of, like, like a carnelian. It is not. A, like a very pale carnelian. Gold tone. Starburst, I would call them. That's how they're put together in the back. No maker's mark. That is lovely. So as this one sits, it would measure in, and that is fully extended, would be 19 inches total. That is a lovely piece. Let's do that one for five. Oh, we do have another pin. Oh, that's fun. Like a brass tone with a black, I think that's glass. Stone, no maker's mark. That's what the back looks like. Measures in at one and a half by just about one and a half inches that's a nice vintage piece let's do that one for five okay then we've got a very long gold tone necklace i'm looking for maker's marks i do not see one this is lovely let me bring this up a little closer so you can see the link very pretty oh, i'm getting it all knotted it is large. 
It has a wearable length of 26 inches. That's nice. Let's do that one for five. Here's some screw back earrings. These are a ceramic with a bird. Aren't those adorable? Lovely. I love that piece. Screw back. You can see there's some glue, but no one will see that. These measure in at one inch. Those are lovely. Let's do those for three. And we've got a pair of faux pearl with a copper latch where you pinch it and go in. There's no maker's mark, I believe. Let me check it. Nope. It's pretty small. It would be 16, or I'm sorry, 17 inches total. Nice coloration. Let's do five on those. Let's see. Oh, I found another onesie earring. We'll put that in our bin. Then we have a silver tone hammered pair of earrings with little discs. There is some wear to these. They measure in at one and a half and would be about a half of an inch. Let's just do those for a dollar. All right. These are gorgeous. Look at these. These are green plastic faceted stones with rhinestone centers. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, are we missing one? No, we are not. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to put some backings with these. I don't have any backing. These would measure in at one and a quarter by about three quarters inch. These are lovely. Let's do those for three. Then we've got a pair of enamel black enamel with rhinestone earrings i guess i would say these are ribbons maybe this is what the back looks like no maker's mark these measure in at just over a half inch by about a half an inch those are nice let's do those for three and we have a pair of vintage clip-on earrings these are a brushed gold tone to the other one up here so you can see them they're lovely they're about three quarters inch long by about a half inch wide those are nice let's do those for three this is just going right in the craft if anyone would like it the condition is just horrible but if you'd like to use that do that for a dollar then we've got let's see two more items Oh, that's a ton of wear on this, unfortunately. The beads are really pretty. They're plastic, and here's some shell. But yeah, the condition is bad, so I'll put that in craft for a dollar. And then we have a slide. Oh, this is nice. Let me get it around here. Butterfly, that's the theme of this. Butterflies in spring. Really pretty. Slides up or down. Silver tone necklace. So it can be any length you want it. Let's see what the furthest it would go. Well, I guess, well, you know what? I think it's broken because there's nothing to stop it down here from coming off. So unfortunately, I'm gonna put that in craft for a dollar. And then this is going right to a rhinestone lot. It's in horrible condition, no maker's mark. But if anyone is interested in this for a dollar, let me know and I'll put that in craft. All right, so we had some really pretty pieces. I absolutely am in love with this butterfly cuff. I absolutely love that piece. Isn't that so beautiful? And then, of course, the flowers. <laughs> and the other pieces that we pulled for the first sale. So leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite pieces are. I appreciate you all being here and you guys. Be well. Make sure you leave that comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be well. Bye, you guys.